Hey guys, and welcome. It's me, Love to Shop Down to Save. Thank you so much for tuning in. As promised, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, but I wanted to just let you guys know, sort of do like a really quick review. Um, during my last haul, I hauled a few of these um, Pure Ice Shine um, Gel Tech Nail Polishes. Um, these are the ones that don't need like any special lighting at all. So this was the step one and then this is the top coat. And I just wanted to show you guys, I'm like so loving this polish. Um, first of all, it is really shiny. Looks like you've just gotten a fresh manicure. Loving it. Um, I find that it is definitely staying on a lot better than the regular polish. And I really feel a lot of it has to do with the top coat. So if you do buy these, I would suggest purchasing the top coat along with it because I did try it without the top coat and I didn't see the same kind of shine. It was still pretty shiny, but not as shiny. And it was it came off a lot easier. So with this, I've been washing dishes, doing different things around the house, and as you can see, there's no chips or anything on them. So definitely, definitely recommend for sure. Um, so yeah, so once again, these are the Pure Ice. So Dollar Tree had these. Um, if you wanna see that video where I show some of the other colors, I will link it in this video. It should be on the top right-hand side of the video. You can click on it and watch that video. Anyway, guys, let me just jump right into it because there's quite a bit of stuff. So the first item that I got is this craft and activity mat. This one is a lot bigger than the one that they originally had. This one is the 12 inch by 18 inch, which I think is a great size. Um, for you know when you're painting or you're doing anything in fact it says it's perfect here for crafts hobbies makeup uh, manicures workshop ugh, workshop kitchen home and office so great like I said for all of those um, and it's pretty pretty sturdy so definitely definitely recommend that so the next set of items that I got are um, a repurchase I always rave about these socks um, my son absolutely loves them. I love the designs on them and the quality of them. You would just, you know, never know that they're Dollar Tree socks for me. They just remind me of department store socks and just my son loves them. And again, they're just really good quality. So I got that design. Then I picked up this one here. It's coming off like if it's um, like really black, but it's actually like a navy blue. And then those little prints are... Um, are in gray and then this brown one here so like I said it's this one here this is the brand here these are made in India um, and these are the dress socks so I only get like I said the ones that are the ones that are made in India and the ones that um, have like this um, this pa particular packaging so definitely a great buy on that the next item that I got were two boxes of the Gain. It smells so good. I mean, you can smell it from the bags, and you get 15 in each one. Now, I was buying the Breeze for for a bit, for quite some time. And at first, I don't know whether they changed anything on it. I don't know. But I just find that the Breeze, even though they have 55 in them, I just find that initially they smell really good while they're in the box. But then once you put them in the dryer, I just, like I said, in the beginning, I, I did see that, that the clothes were smelling really nice. But it wasn't lasting very long. But now I just find that I have to put in quite a bit of them. Like sometimes I add like six or seven of them to my load just so that it can smell. And then, you know, um, shortly, I mean, after a few days, not even, it's, they no longer have like that smell. They do smell clean, but they don't have like that, you know, that really nice scent that you kind of want your clothes to have. So, um, I would definitely recommend, um, you know, the gain or the bounce, you know, those are really the ones that um, I will go with. Unfortunately, you only get 15 of them, but I, I do use fabric softener. 
So um, this is just like in addition to that, just so that, you know, the clothes um, don't have any like static cling to them or anything. So yeah, really good. And like I said, 15 in each one. And this is the original game set. So that's that. The next item that I got are these um, scrub buddies. These are the wet Swiffer cloth refills. Um, and this is the bonus pack. So you get 10 instead of eight and again i got these from the section in the store that has all of the bonus items so if you see if you like go to dollar tree try to see if you find that section that has all the bonus items because they did have the ones in the store that only have the eight so i'm glad that i was able to you know find this one that has two more you know um yeah so these are really good i do have a swiffer and these do fit the swiffer perfectly um, so these are just good like in between of like those moments when you really don't want to like do like a, a big mopping on the floor and have to deal with that. Um, these are just good, you know, for just a quick cleanup. So yeah, good to have those. And then while I was in that section, I finally uh, found the three pack. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I turned on the TV by accident. Let me just turn that off scared myself so I'm sure I probably scared you guys too um sorry about that so um yeah so I got the scrub buddies and I finally found the three pack really excited about that because let me tell you I was searching for this forever and yeah so I'm really glad even though the ones that I hauled in my last video that were supposed to be like the nail um scratch free for your nails and they were kind of shaped a little bit differently they had kind of like um um, like a rounder shape and it kind of went in in the middle. I'm really liking those. So it's kind of funny that I found these. But anyway, um, because I found them and I don't find them all the time, I picked up two of those. I figured, you know, these should be good for a bit. Um, I do change them often. So yeah. Then the next items that I got, because like I said, there's no particular order. I'm just kind of pulling it out the bags, were the Twix. Um, we love these. As you can see, we've already opened them and three are missing. <laughs> but these are really good. You get six of them and this is about the size of them, which is a pretty decent size, pretty nice snack size. So, um, yeah, got those. The next item that I picked up was um, the Sunbeam. This is the Halogen Energy Saving Bulb and it's the 60 watt so um, this is the energy, um, the estimated energy uh, cost is $5.18 per year, so they say. Um, and it supposedly says it uses 28% uh, less energy. So anytime I see anything that uses less energy, I definitely feel it's worth giving it a try. So pick that up. Then the next item that I picked up, I thought it was so cool. Just one of those things that are good for, um, you know, when you're going camping or for my husband, you know, my oldest son, uh, just really handy in the car. Um, you get like the little multi-use knife and then you get scissors. I don't know how many times I've had like a little string hanging off of something or something like that and I've just like been searching and it's so annoying. So just to kind of have this in the car where you can just kind of snip that is really nice and then it has a can opener it has a bottle opener it has a flat screwdriver a nail file a corkscrew and a Phillips so this is awesome so I'm really really glad if a person goes camping a lot this is like perfect it would save you from having to bring and carry all that extra stuff so really recommend that and that's from the tool tool bench hardware brand so I got that then I picked up the original super glue gel. Now I was hearing a few of um, some other YouTubers that have claimed that they use this on their nails with um, with the sassy and cheek nails, and that you know it doesn't damage the nails at all. They've used it. You know, used it before and it stays in one place because it's a gel. It's not dripping all over. So you don't have it, you know, getting anywhere else besides where you want it. So I figured it was worth um, giving that a try. Um, yeah, so got that. And then since we're talking about nails, 
I went ahead and I picked up another one of the watermelon ones because if you did see my haul last time, I was kind of bummed out because I actually meant to pick up two of the watermelon ones and I only picked up one. But I'm glad that I um, not only was able to find the watermelon ones, which are these here, but also these right here. I thought these were really pretty. Loving that. It's got a lot of sparkle and glitter. And so I picked those up. The next set of items that I picked up were two packages of these sticky notes, so like the, the post-its. But what I really like about these is the size of them. A lot of times the smaller post-its are just too small. And I find myself having to use like... Um, more than one for one particular message or one particular thing that I'm writing. So I figured with these, it would be a lot better. And these are three inches by five inches and you get a hundred in each one. So I got the yellow one and the blue one. Then I picked this up over here. My son has been doing some DIYs and he has been painting a couple of things with some spray paint and stuff. So I figured I would pick up a set of safety goggles for him so his eyes are protected. And also these um, disposable filter masks. These are great even when you're doing like deep cleaning maybe in your bathrooms or around your home. This is really good if you're using, you know, some chemicals and things like that um, that you kind of, you know, protect yourself from inhaling that. Um, yeah, while you're, you know, doing that type of cleaning. Even though I really don't use... Um, um, like really strong, strong, strong chemicals. And if I do, I always like open up, you know, a door or window, something to kind of air it out. But it's just good to have these in hand, whether you're painting or you're working with something that you don't really want to be inhaling. So got that. The next thing I got was this uh, mega carabiner or carabiner. Um, these are really great to have. You can just, you know, kind of click these onto maybe a bag or whatever, and then click it onto, you know, the back of your chair in the car. Or, um, you know, if, if moms out there that have like their strollers, you can, you know, click this onto your stroller and then click on your, your you know, the baby bag. Um, yeah, so there's like multi, you know, keys you can put on this and then clip them to your, um, to your pants, you know, like with my oldest, um, he's sometimes um, ends up leaving his keys um, behind in the office. And even though he has a lanyard, he ends up like not wearing it. So I thought this would be good because he could just clip it onto his like um, strap, like the, on your, on, or his belt, whatever. And then just, you know, hang the keys from there. The next item that I picked up was this eye mask. This is, um, it relieves and reduces puffiness. So a lot of times um, I end up getting headaches. Um, this happens to my boys as well, even my husband. When we're like really tired, we end up getting a headache. And it's, it's sort of like the headache is not just in the front, like a tension headache, but you kind of feel like behind your eyes. Um, and there's that pressure from like reading, like, you know, or like on the computer, things like that. So this is really nice to be able to kind of put this in the freezer and then just kind of put it over your eyes as you're just resting. And, you know, obviously in addition to maybe taking something for the headache, I think that this would also bring about some comfort. Um, and also if you just deal with like, you know, puffy, puffiness under your eyes, this is probably something that's really good. I really love the way that this feels. I love it. It's got like those little orby things in it. So, yeah. Not that. And then I picked up just one of these spray bottles. This is just good to have, you know, put some water in it. Um, my youngest son loves to um, kind of have like the wet look. And a lot of times he ends up just um, using his hands and he gets water everywhere. So I figured if he was to just put um, the water in here, he could just spray it directly onto his hair and not have it like on the sink floor <laughs> and everywhere else in the bathroom. So yeah, I got that for him. Then I picked up, then I picked up, um, this Dawn right here. Um, this is really great. A lot of times, you know, you'll get like stains, maybe a grease stain on something on a shirt or something, or even on a fabric of some sort. Um, even outside, if you were to have like a spill, little oil leak or something like that, um, I was informed, um, who was it? 
I think it was um, 45 and Fab's, um, yeah, 45 and Fab's um, boyfriend or something, Donnie or something like that, I think his name is. Um, he had said that this was really good for removing like oil stains. So I figured it was just kind of good to have. I usually don't buy the Dawn, but I have really been on YouTube seeing a lot of videos where people use Dawn for so many things, even for making your own cleaners too. So figured, gotta have it. It's like, the holy grail or something. <laughs> so I picked that up. Then I picked up these. These are my absolute favorite. These are the corn nuts. They are the original. This is the um, crunchy corn kernels. And this is in the four ounces. They're awesome. If you like, like crunchy and salty things, definitely love that. Then I picked up um, another one of the hydrocortisones. This is the... Is it the 1%? Well, it says quite it. Let me see the percent here. So yeah, it's 1%, so that's pretty good. Um, and this is just great for any kind of like rash or itch, you know, uh, eczema. I mean, look, you can read all here, all the stuff that it's good for, seboric dermatitis, poison ivy, oak. So just kind of one of those things you want to have like in your little medicine kit or first aid kit. Then I just picked purchased some more soap. I figured I would give this a try for um, the men in my home or the boys in my home. Um, this is the Zest for Men. It's the Active Sport and it just smelled really good. It's 25% bonus and these are pretty big size bars so I figured I'd give those a try. And then I picked these up here. This is the Dial Basic Hypoallergenic and these are just good to have when, um, you know, because um, my boys and my husband do suffer from like allergies and sometimes um, they have like skin sensitivities or eczema and when you have a breakout at those moments, sometimes it's good to use like a hypoallergenic soap. So you get three of those in there. That's really good. Then... I saw a lot of you guys hauling these and I figured I would pick them up and give them a try. I do have two um, um, electric like candle warmers or whatever and I figured I would just give these a try. So hopefully they'll be good, you know, but I figured if I don't give it a try, I'll never know. So let me just smell this one again. This one smells really good. I think out of all of them, this one seems to be my favorite. This is the Rose Water and Cherry Blossom. And then you can see that it is like that so um, you know you would just like with the other ones the Glade ones you just kind of you know break them apart and then put them in your warmer then this one is the sweet peony and spring rain and this one's in this pretty color here I think it was the colors that kind of got me too because I love these colors so this one smells this one smells really good too so I don't know about that I don't know if that rose water is still my favorite after smelling that one and then this one is the eucalyptus and a lavender. This one smells like gum, like minty gum to me. And then this one is the passion fruit coconut and tropical island. And yeah, so. And it says here, you know, they're just like step one, break it off and, you know, put them into your... Um, warmer so I got those I you know was tempted to get more but like I said I don't know how well they work so I really didn't want to like stock up too much on them in case they don't work you know um, then I picked uh, this up this is just a foot file here and um, it's not too rough some of them can be really really rough sometimes you just kind of want to you know um, I, I don't know, the Pumice Rock, I do have those too, but I seem to like this the, the file one a lot better. Um, yeah, so the, pum, the the pumice or pumice one I usually use like in the water, and then this one I use like when my feet are, you know, like dry or, you know, they're not wet. So yeah, got that. And then my boys, their birthdays are coming up. One is in June, my oldest one, and then July for the youngest. So... Um, one of them is going to be 15, so I got those because you know what? Every time I wait for the last minute, I always end up not finding the candles or they don't have the numbers I'm looking for, and then I end up having to go to like another store and, and spend, you know, a lot more than you should on a candle, you know, 
And then my oldest is going to be 23. So I thought those were really nice. And they're a lot more than a dollar in other places, especially when you're getting that other little thing that you can also put as a cake topper. So I got those. guys so this is part two of my dollar tree haul the next items that i picked up were these to vive um teas they're the herbal infusion teas this is a repurchase i had purchased the chamomile one and the peppermint but the peppermint were just a hit so absolutely love these they are so good um and there's 20 in each one they are packed in Sri Lanka and they're good until 2020. So each sip of this all natural herbal blend is like a breath of mountain fresh air with a spirited refreshness and all day, all time, all year favorite. So yeah, that just makes you just want to have a cup of tea. <laughs> so anyway, love this. Because of these, I've been drinking a lot less coffee. So that's really great. The next item that I got were these cups. They come in a two-pack. I absolutely love this print. It says things like sunglasses, beach, summer. It's got a picture of a watermelon, a popsicle stick. So, And it's a pretty decent size. These are great. So um, I purchased one in the yellow, one in the blue, and then one in the red. So these are really nice to have especially with summer coming along the next item that I purchased were these straws I couldn't pass up on them because of these cute um, little ice cream cones these are so cute not only can you use them on your straws but you can also use these on your crafts so definitely a great buy you get 16 of them so really cute got that then I purchased this um, like checkers game. It has like the, you know, they're oversized, um, like the checkers and this um, little like, um, it's not a board, but it's supposed to be like the board. But this is really great to bring when you're going to like a park and July 4th is coming up and the summer in general is coming up and we do a lot of like picnicking and going to the parks and stuff. So things like this are really good. Um, and just kind of easy to bring along and easy to bring back. So, yeah. Got that. Then, of course, as I have mentioned before, um, many times I am making sure to start, like, collecting bags from Dollar Tree. A lot of stores are starting to charge for their bags, and there are some stores that don't have bags. You have to bring your own. So every time I go, I always make it a point to pick up you know, at least two or three bags. The last haul was Tinkerbell. The one before that, it was Minnie Mouse. So, and then the one before that, it was like some Marvel ones. Um, yeah, so these right here are the princess ones. And it says um, Ethereal Beauty. And it's got, um, it has uh, Cinderella, Ariel, and Belle. So pretty, so cute. I wanted to get three of them, but unfortunately, I only saw two. So I just picked those two up. Then I picked up some Mother's Day cards. These cards are beautiful. This one says, wishing you a happy mom's day. I love that with the little button. And then some of these are little pop-ups, and it's got like the little gems. Really cute. And then inside it says, your love has made me who I am today. Thank you, mom. So sweet. And then this one here, loving this one here. So pretty, this little bicycle here. I mean, this is something I think I saw um, pretty and flawed, was it? Was it that she used this one? I think she did this one or the teacup one. But um, I did see another YouTuber pull this one off and put this into a craft as well. So, But this one says, happy Mother's Day with love. And then it says, sending loving thoughts your way. Um, your special ki kindness brightens my day. You are truly amazing for all that you do. I hope your day is as special as you. Happy Mother's Day. So, so, so cute. And then lastly, this one says, this Mother's Day wish could not hold more love for a mom who has gone way above and beyond. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And then this is like a, like a, 
pop-up kind of thing. And then it says, have a wonderful Mother's Day. And it's got like the flower here or the rose and then the butterfly. Really, really pretty. So if you guys are looking for Mother's Day cards, definitely give Dollar Tree a, a shot because probably save a lot of money because I'm sure cards like that in another store would be a lot more expensive. And again, this is a repurchase. Um, this is the Fresh Sensations Carpet Odor Eliminator. I don't have carpet, but I do have some um, area rugs and this smells amazing. So I just kind of throw it on there, let it sit for a bit and then vacuum it up. So thanks again, girl, Mama for Nicole. I got that um, idea to go and pick it up from her. So I'm glad I did. Then I purchased some stickers. So I purchased two of these. These are so fun. I just could not resist them. I absolutely love that watermelon. That's my favorite. And then the little flip-flops. So these are just cute for like scrapbooking, for crafts, for anything, just for setting a card. So cute. That doesn't scream summer. I don't know what. And then these were like my favorite. Absolutely love these. These are just great, again, for scrapbooking. A lot of times, you know, we will go on little road trips or during our vacations. Last year, we went um, on vacation as well. And I would definitely like to kind of make a little scrapbook with that, with the, with, sorry about that, guys, got tongue tied, with these um, stickers. So they're just really well made. And it's just something that you would definitely see in Michael's or Joanne's. For a lot more than it. Next, I picked up this book by Dr. Creflo Dollar. Absolutely love the way that he preaches. Um, he is a very well known pastor. Maybe some of you might have already heard of him. This is called um, Real Manhood Being the Man God has um, God Made You to Be. And I thought this would be great for my husband and for my boys. It says, Being a man of God is not easy in today's world. There are many distorted ideas and images images being presented by contemporary culture and even by men's families that don't line up with the word of God. Consequently, many men are confused about their true identity and are at a loss in knowing how to actually fulfill their intended role. So God, real manhood is a triumphant call to men to rise up to the challenge to be the man God intends them to be. So here's practical advice on how to conquer fear, overcome areas of personal struggle, cultivate an intimate relationship with God and relate to properly to others. So I definitely think that this will be a good read for um, my boys um, and for my husband. So definitely. Goodbye. The next items that I picked up were uh, these quick erasers. And these are the ones with the three pack so yeah, these are really good and they're just like the Clorox erasers, literally like the same exact, I can get it out of here, literally like the same exact thing and they work just as well. So I would definitely not spend um, more, you know, on the name brand when you can just buy these which work exactly the same um, for a dollar and you get three of them. So that's a great buy. Next, I picked up two of these Right Guard deodorants. This is the Sport um, Fresh 48 Hour, the Long Lasting. So I picked up two of those. Then I picked up, I this one I picked up two. Um, yeah, I picked up two, but I'm actually using the other one. The other one was, um, I think the other one was Shower Fresh, and this one is the Powder Fresh. So, but they both were the Invisible Dry, and this is from the Lady Speed 6. So, I've been using this for a long time. Really, really like it. Definitely recommend it. Then I purchased um, a pack of these fresh linen, like, sachets. They're the scented ones, and again, this is the fresh linen smell. You get three of them in here, which I think is a good buy because some of these sachets can be a dollar a piece, so to get three of them for a buck. And these are just great to put in drawers, um, you know, under a cabinet, just anywhere where you want to kind of like um, in a closet where you want to just kind of make it smell really good. Keep it smelling fresh. Then I purchased 
another one of these anti-acid from the assured this is comparable to the tums i have been purchasing this for years and it works just as great and then while i was there i saw that they had the zantac and the zantac 75 and these are really good when you have like really bad heartburn um or like sour stomach indigestion you get two tablets in here so this is just good to have you know like I said in your emergency kit I actually picked up did I pick it? yeah I actually picked up two of those so it's actually four for two bucks not bad it's not like we use those all the time just in moments usually the Tums is good enough then I went ahead and I purchased um, two of these um, like uh, extension cords um, we always use extensions cords for some purpose so it's just kind of good to have them on hand these are the ones that are for indoor and they're six um, both are six feet so I got two of those then I purchased um, another one of the nail polish remover this is the strengthening and this one has the vitamin E and uh, panthenol for natural nails Then I got some um, patients here. Let's see which ones I got. So I got one of these ibuprofen. This is the one that's comparable to the Motrin IB, and you get 40 in here. And then I picked up four of these, and these are like the liquid gels. They're comparable to the Advil liquid gels. They really are. So these are really great, and you get 10 of them in here. So the difference between these and these are these are fast acting. So when you take these, they just kind of work a lot faster. So, um, And then I found these, which I was really excited about. These are the body fantasies. I love to use these during the summertime. You know, you kind of want to have that like light, airy scent. Um, this one is called Silver Lining. Again, it's from the Body Fantasies Signatures, uh, signature brand. And this one is the Paradise Fantasy. Oh, this one is my favorite. And I actually should have picked up two of these. If I go back, I'm definitely going to pick up another one of these. Um, this one also smelled really, really good. I think the cap came off on this one. That's the yeah, here it is. I'm like, what the heck did the cap go on this? All right, let me just spray it. There we go. Mm, this one smells really good, too. And this one is the Paradise Fantasy, but this one is my favorite. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. So this is what they look like. I got that. And in case anybody wants to know, it's a 3.2 fluid ounce. So I got that. Then I picked up a bottle of the Totally, the LA Totally Awesome Bleach. I love the LA Totally Awesome brand. Absolutely love it. This is 128 fluid ounces. You just cannot beat that for a buck. I don't use this for my clothes, but I do use it for cleaning. You can use it for your clothes, um, but I prefer to use the... Um, I use the, the the one that doesn't splash. I think it's the Clorox and the, the one that, like I said, doesn't splash because what happens is every time I end up washing clothes and I don't use the one that doesn't splash, I always end up with a Clorox stain somewhere. So to avoid that, I will only use like um, the non-splash one. And unfortunately, I have not seen the generic one of that, so I just stick with the Clorox with that one. But as far as like cleaning and stuff, this is what I get. I like to pour these down um, the drains, especially in the garbage disposal for um, you know adding when I'm mopping, just anything. So 128 fluid ounces, like I said, you can't go wrong with that. Then I purchased the LA Totally Awesome Orange um, Oxygen Orange Base Cleaner, and this one is the Chlorine Free, and it looks like that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, and it comes with the little, the little um, scooper thing. This smells really good, and let me tell you, it works. So, it's been getting out like little stains and things like that. Then I purchased 
um, actually two of these, but I already opened one and we used it. These are the foam plates. You have a 30 count. So Then I actually purchased three of these, but we already used one. But this is the Reynolds Wrap. It's only um, 18 square feet, but honestly, Reynolds Wrap, in my opinion, is the best um, aluminum foil. It's really, really um, like sturdy, very, very good quality. So when I see it, which they don't always have it, so that I make sure that I pick it up. Then I purchased two of these cups. Really, really thought they were so cute. Again, they totally scream summer. I love the fact that it's shaped like a mason jar, um, but they are plastic, which is really good. Glass is not good in this house. I have never really been able, I don't know if it's like a boy thing or what it is, but I have really never been able to, you know, use a whole lot of glass. I usually use those for company and for guests and then the plastic cups I'll have my kids use because they're forever breaking stuff. Oh my goodness, it, it's, it doesn't fail, it never fails. So these are so cute, it's got like big watermelon on it and it's got the sunglasses with the popsicle and it says smile, so, so cute. They had them in different colors. I think I saw like a blue, like a tealish color or something like that, but I got the, the red one. It's coming off as pink, but it's red. Then I purchased this cake mix. Um, uh, my youngest had made um, this on his own, you know, um, the last time. It came out amazing, and he was so proud of himself because he was able to put that together. So he reminded us, um, every time we said how good it was, he reminded us of who exactly made it. <laughs> so these are really fun, you know, very, very simple ingredients um, that you can just kind of whip together. It's really fun to do with your kids as well if they're a lot younger. Next, I purchased two packs of these paper cups. Um, you get five in each one. They're 16 ounces, and you get um, the sleeves as well as the lids. This is really good like for um, when you're drinking um, coffee that's really hot. You could just put the sleeve on it. This is, you know, you could also um, add cold drinks to here. These are just simply great when you are going somewhere, you don't want to have to be responsible bringing the cup back home and you just want to dispose of it on your way. So great to have these. Then July 4th is coming along very soon. And so they have a lot of July 4th stuff out at Dollar Tree. And honestly, this is the best time to pick it up because by the time July 4th rolls around, Dollar Tree will probably be already um, pushing stuff for um, the next holiday, really. And you'll probably only get stuck with whatever's left. So I always like to, even though it's ahead, I like to just make sure that I pick it up um, because um, then I end up having to pay more at um, another store so I got these I really like these I thought they were so cute um, again I was looking for the five six but the seven eight is just a little bit of a difference not that big of a deal and I thought these were really cute for July 4th and then I saw this bag to go along with it OMG this is so cute and I can go ahead and put like our little picnic blanket in here with some snacks or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is so cute. I love the way the bag has that, you know, design in the bottom. And then it has it along the sides. And it's a really sturdy bag. So really cute. And it just matches the sandals so well. And then along with that, I picked up some of these. And you know that sometimes if you go, like here in Florida, if you go to like Bayside or um, South Beach for the fireworks, you can end up, if you don't bring your own um, like little glow sticks, you can end up like having to spend like, you know, five, six bucks for one of these things. And so it's just good to kind of buy them early. Um, that's if we decide to do that. But even if we just, you know, stay home and have a picnic and see the fireworks in our area here, um, we still always like to have these. And these are the... Um, it's like the little wand, like a like a glow stick wand. So yeah, these are really fun. I got two of those. And then these are also really cute too because instead of having to get like one for each color, it's like a combo. 
so yeah so how you know which ones are for july 4th if you're looking do you see how the top is red white and blue so all the ones that are like combo like that for july 4th are like that so i picked that up and then as far as decor was concerned i thought these were so nice if i could just get them out of this bag it would be nice okay Sorry about that, guys. I have it, like, tangled in here, and oh my gosh, how annoying is this? Anyway, let me just show you what I'm, like, trying, struggling with. So, anyway, this is it over here. It's, like, a wind chime. And it has, like, the flag and then this little bell. I love the way that it's um, that that copper color just really 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 pretty and then you just sort of hang it like that So it's not that it's tangled. It's just the way that they put this little plastic thing on it It's kind of bending the the cord of the wire, but this is so cute. So I got one and then I got another one um, So I know exactly where I'm gonna put it by my windows in the front So that is so cute for a dollar. I mean you can't beat that uh and then lastly, I picked these up, again, some more batteries. Um, but these are actually the 10 pack. So these are the bonus pack. So you get two more out of those. So I purchased three of the, sorry about that guys. I purchased three of the 10 packs. So guys, that sums up my haul. Hopefully you guys watched part one and part two. I really hope that you um, enjoyed it. If you did, I would love a thumbs up. I'm actually going to combine both videos together and just include part one and part two. So that way you guys don't have to be searching for part one and part two and then you can just watch part one and then kind of pause it and go back if you want or skim through it or however which way you like to like you know watch your videos but anyway guys thank you guys for spending time with me I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a wonderful week a safe week God bless hugs kisses and see you in my next video bye